Well, to come Doctrine 14. Now, the Spirit of God runs with a few ideas with me, sort of contrary pathways certain times, sort of. But the doctrine is in the A&M. In the normal high videos Bible for different sort of pathways and different sort of approaches. Sort of eternal life on earth, eternal life in heaven, harder things of the spirit and mentality is people are going to perish ultimately unless they really work it out for, for eternal life on earth. And different ideas. The thing is, it, it, he pushes me this way and he pushes me that way, but he pushes me according to the doctrine a lot of the time. And it, it's it's also something which he honours by the looks of it, is that if, if, if the doctrine's got more fight in it, it'll get Probably, it'll get honoured more. If it's more fight in it and more information and knowledge and pushes a bit harder, it's going to be honoured a bit more. So, um, Torah Prophecies 107 just came out with, with the idea that heaven was the, the reward for the kingdom of God. And looking at the fact that Israel had two abominations of desolation, two strands of thinking in the kingdom in Israel, potentially, and that the church potentially got one with AD 70, which Jesus talked about, might have prophesied it, so that's the kingdom being built, potentially, over all Israel and the church, potentially the kingdom of God being built. So that the, the, there might be truth in that prophecy of Daniel after all, and that... <sighs> The kingdom of God is where people function and live. But God seems to also say to me that uh, the fullness of a, of a resurrection plan, which was in place with Daniel 12, can be to the physical life. And that he might just honour my prayers of 700, which were enough for him to bother to answer the right request. 700 prayers of Daniel chapter 12 repeated, and more than that now, which he sort of says he'll honour. So, um... So that potentially this August, when the the book of Genesis settles in long enough, completed by a Noahide, the out of my Noah community myself, but anyone could have done it, on a uh, settled in the heavenly community of out of my Noahides long enough, you know, around August this year, they potentially might might rise. The community of heaven might rise potentially. It might take a bit longer. A lot of my prayer requests are for January the fourth. For each year, and as soon as possible at times. So, nothing's set in stone. I, I don't really get guarantees very much from God of, of if he really will raise the dead in the end or when. There's no really real guarantees with him very much. But certainly the prayer requests which I've prayed haven't really changed that God will raise the dead as soon as possible and bring the life of the world to come. That hasn't changed and that continues to be affirmed. This, this August 2023 idea, it's, it's considered, I think it's a possibility, but um, I'm, as I've said in previous videos on World Come Doctrine, I'm not a date setter, so I'm not saying that it's going to happen. It could well come and pass and come and go and no, a bit of a fizzle, nothing happened at all, but maybe something will. Um, so we'll wait and see on that, and uh, if, if, it, if it doesn't happen, if there's no resurrection in mid-August, this world to come doctrine still holds definitely that it potentially could at some point in the future. It, that's re re retained regardless. It's an ongoing prayer request. We still, I still mean that prayer request. It doesn't change. That prayer request continues to be aff affirmed whether potential dates come and go. It still continues to be affirmed. And potentially down the road, when I return to prayer for a while, that might happen one day, I'll go on praying that prayer request. So the, the request for God to bring the resurrection and the life of the world to come as soon as possible goes on being a permanent prayer of the advancing no moment. That doesn't change that we're requesting that of the Lord. It doesn't change. That's our doctrine, practically. So we'll see.